Good afternoon on what is a bright, breezy, uh, uh, but mild day. Uh, I'm out in the Reading Nook taking advantage of uh, the uh, change in the weather in between um, what has been promised to be uh, some Arctic blasts. Uh, I have a nice hot cup of tea, of course. And a pile of things to unbox. The first thing I'm going to unbox, or basically unseal, is this, which is Zombicide Chronicles, the role-playing game uh, from Come On uh, Games, um, and designed by Guillotine Games. Uh, and uh, this is the role-playing game based upon Zombicide Chronicles, the board game. Uh, so if you've Basically, um, if you thought you ran out of rob a zombie role-playing games uh, to play, got a new one. Because um, essentially, zombie board games, zombie role-playing games are always popular, uh, going all the way back to um, the classic, all flesh must be eaten. So, okay. So, I mean, I've already done an unboxing, and already done a review of the quick start, or the scenario booklet, which they released for the uh, Free RPG Day back in October. Um, so I'll put a link to that as well. Um, so let's have a look at uh, what's inside. Um, so the, the basic the scenario booklet presented uh, three um, little scenarios which you could play. Um, you, there were no rules in there, so you couldn't play them when you had them. Um, I mean, but essentially, if you had a role-playing game, you could take those and go, "Oh yeah, I get this. Here's the plot. Uh, and here's a situation. I can run this. No problem." Um, and that was certainly the case. Uh, but now this is out, you can actually run those, those scenarios using the proper rules. So, uh, first thing you note know is that the, car the cartoon cover is going to basically set the tone of the adventure. Uh, basically, you know, you have stalwart uh, survivors uh, armed with um, basically guns and swords. Uh, and um, or um, what's that? Ba basically, uh, or other tools. Um, so uh, what we've got? Zombieside Chronicles is a standalone role-playing game set in the famous setting of the zombie so of the Zombieside board games. Uh, take a deep dive into this rich universe, create your own survivor from scratch, or use a ready-to-play one, and prepare yourself for the end of the world. Uh, but this isn't your everyday nightmare about the zombie apocalypse. Okay. In Zombicide Chronicles, you show the undead that the living are still trying to fight back and you've, got, you've, and you've got plenty of guns and willpower to prove it. This book gives you the main rules and mission types to live your own Zombicide adventure uh, with quick and easy mechanics and gameplay that is enhanced by the use of the Zombicide book game, board game miniatures and components. Uh, you and your friends will soon be facing entire zombie hordes, meeting interesting characters and exploring a huge metropolis with ten different areas and unlimited opportunities to keep hope alive and they're dead, truly dead this time. Now it's time to ask yourself, what will your survivor story will uh, what will your story your survivor story be? Okay, and you even got a little um, barcode there, a QR code there as well. Well, you can actually scratch. It says, what does it say? Scratch the code and check the authenticity. Uh, well, I pretty much trust my um, my friendly local gaming shop, so um, I think this is going to be authentic. So it's full colour. Um, glossy inside, um, really, that's quite, that really feels quite good, that's really nice paper. Um, so open up, um, and what we've got here is um, zombie with the, uh, you know, um, billboard saying, the end is near, uh, kiss your loved ones. Um, it's a classic situation, classic kind of image of, of, of um, you know, the lone figure uh, dressed in his overcoat um, and his hat, uh, standing on a bridge or so, you know, on a street corner, with you know the, the, the billboard saying the end is nigh. Um, these days, um, he probably wouldn't be doing that. He'd um, he'd be probably um, advertising a, a sale at a golf shop. Um, so uh, okay, welcome. To, uh, basically, open up introduction section. Welcome to Zombie Side Chronicles. Where to start? Nice bit of artwork. Um, now, one problem is, of course, is I've never played Zombicide. I just never had access to a copy um, and never had the chance to play it. I've sort of always wanted to, just see what it's like. Um, 
and I've thought about getting a copy, but it's a case of, you know, it's a big game and the investment into the game, you know. Um, but anyway, I still think you can play, I think this is standalone, so I can play it without. And a zombie game, it's a zombie game, you know. Um, there are, I'm going to say, are there a great deal of differences between zombie games? Yes, of course there are. But a lot of the same th kind of things are uh, remain the same. So, um, so we get to the world of zombie side. How do we get here? The city of the dead and survivors. Um, uh, and um, so this is actually a pr much more kind of proactive role play game than, than you might get with something like um, The Walking Dead, um, which is a bit more desperate. This is a bit more cartoony. Um, and we go on to we've got rules for the players and rules for the game master. Essentially, here, essentially here's the guide to how to first play it and then run it. Um, nice section there, easy to find the players and the GM game master to look at. Um, and then we go on to what do we do? Well, the, I mean, what I think is really kind of direct in its instructions in its setup. Um, so uh, what do we do? We team up, we gear up, we level up, we take them down. Again, simple to the point. Um, you know, no fuss, no muss. Uh, let's get you know, let's get out there and um, um, basically um, uh, take down the um, corpse cavalcade. And then we get into uh, where to start. So it's a zombie survivor sheets, and every character appears got the like an adrenaline dial, uh, which um, sets their status. Um, and um, and essentially, uh, it says it uses six-sided dice. You've got a big pile of them. All you need is you can get proprietary dice for this because here's the illustration. But it tells shows you that you can use um, custom dice if you like to. You have more dice, etc. Is it any number of dice you own? Regular six-sided dice should have two sets of what, uh, two um, uh, different colours. And remember, six corresponds to a Molotov and one to a zombie head. Really kind of simple. So you're kind of thinking in the kind of uh, same kind of ballpark park as um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, um, the Year Zero mechanics from Free League, and then we get the Survivor um, um, uh, archetypes. Um, and archetypes are something that they've been using in um, zombies uh, in zombie stories for a long time. You know, you can watch something like The Walking Dead, and you can see the different sort of archetypes of the characters and so on. Um, and you know they even appeared in the role-playing game like all flesh must be eaten uh, so and uh, and of course we've got cross um advertise uh, cross um intellectual property advertising so um we have zombie side criticals hits tabletop um you can use role-playing miniatures to improve your game and um so uh even more so the images of the the archetypes are tied to the um essentially the Chronicle Survivor kit. So here we've got, um, this is uh, Amado BMX Rider. Look at his pose on the bike with, with, with the handgun and he is right there amongst this set. Um, so yeah, so more of them, I mean you've got, I mean there's something like 12 of them um, and you can just essentially just Grab these and start playing um, at, uh, um, you know, so mix a range of different characters, um, all ages, um, and so on. But, uh, also got uh, a guy in a wheelchair as well. So, uh, and, essentially, and essentially, so you have basically those are already there for grab and play. Then we got to survive a creation. Um, but, uh, um, it shouldn't be too difficult, I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine. Um, and um, you know, but, uh, and how you would just talk about how you got involved. Um, and you've got things like survival prologues. When did you first hear of the outbreak? And you can roll the dice and just create a, or choose one straight off the list. So it does that for when you first heard of the outbreak, your first experience as a witness, uh, your first zombicide, what happened to your significant others, uh, what you took with you, and so on. 
you know, what you left behind, how you met the other survivors, and then we get to the mechanics, you know, the survival guide, um, and a lot of emphasis upon equipment um, and weapons in the uh, just as in the board game because essentially the board game is you trying to get enough equipment to, um, to survive uh, against the horde and we're playing the game main rules and it's a dice pull game where you're attempting to roll multiple dice and get sixes I, um, I presume from just looking at the dice types you the dice um, you've got in the game um, and you have uh, Essentially, um, you've also got um, two different types of dice, mastery and different type uh, as well. Um, that's if you've got the zombie side dice. And then we go on to mission phase, additional rules, um, survivor phase. Um, let's have a look. Um, again, those look. Again, the, the, these are not. Um, these aren't. These aren't extensive rules, so I think this is going to be fairly easy to play. It's just essentially, in some ways, it, what they've really done is they've taken the characters from um, the board game and personalised them. They've made them something, but you know, suddenly something that you can play, um, uh, you know, and tell the story of, rather than just honestly on the board. Um, but, uh, and but uh, or you can personalise, make a personal character and play. We've got melee weapons lists, a big long list um, from baseball bat uh, to machete, but, uh, and um, ranged weapons, you know, pistols, sword off, shotguns, sniper rolls, SMG. Um, you know, it, it does, it, it again, when the mechanics are like a D6, um, you don't need a lot of um, uh, um, essentially differentiation between different weapons. You know, so whether you've got you know um, an M16 or an AK47, you've got that's right, you've got a rifle, a assault rifle, um, and then we have um, you know rules for stuff like um, skill descriptions, how to level up, uh, and then running the game, which covers special actions, um, prolonged actions, searching that sort of thing. Again, decent artwork, uh, you know. Bit of variety, but it's, it's like fairly cartoony along the sort of the more um, slightly more realistic. Uh, and then right, uh, basically the tables for trouble, no pain, no gain. Um, it, the zombie side itself, staging a zombie side. Um, right, uh, choose starting positions, how the dead fight, and so on. So like that, and then we get into the, the uh, zombiepedia. So you've got different types of zombies, everyday zombies, you know, common garden zombies. Um, and then, you know, we have fatties, runners, abominations. Uh, and in some ways, this is also reminiscent of the computer game Left 4 Dead, uh, which is a co-op game uh, where you and four players team up and blast away at zombies uh, and try to get from one zone to another. Um, and it's fun to so we've got Berserker Zombies, Toxic Zombies, Seeker Zombies, Whoop Skinner Zombies. Um, so plenty of variety that you, the, 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 the Zombie Master can throw at her players. Again, um, vile artwork, um, but it works. And we've got Zombie Animals as well. Uh, rules for non-player zombies, oh, sorry, non-player survive, non survivors. And then with the mission phase, so it's basically structuring how you play and that will be modeled on the board game I would suspect essentially um, you know you so it makes the crossover easier for uh, the players from one to the other um, and then we so you know mission phase shelter phase uh, creating a shelter um, and, uh, and so on defending a shelter and then we go into the world of the world of zombie side So, I mean, the general tone of it is not too serious, but you can still die. Um, at, uh, and we've got a generic map of the city where we're exploring. Um, you know, it could be anywhere. Um, and I mean, the thing is, uh, take it as you wish. I mean, the thing is here that um, you uh, can take these roles and adapt it to the city of your choice. Um, to, but we've got different locations. Uh, um, along with um, maps which the uh, zombie master can use to um, run the encounters 
uh, and kind of with the zombie so the zombie sites. Um, so basically, downtown old town, uh, essentially a um, railway station and more. Um, so you, you just basically the idea essentially is that you, the the, ref, the, 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 zombie, the zombie master creates a zombie side. You find a location. You give them reasons for the player characters to go there, and away you go. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a very pretty book. Um, not too easy, not too not fairly easy on the eye, and um, you know here we go into the hood. Uh, you know, the, I mean the other thing is that. Um, uh, yeah, not too. I mean, not too challenging to, to really pick up and start playing. Um, to everything is in here, um, and um, you know the other thing is that um, you know what, you, you've got a mini campaign in here in terms of the sort of like the setting. It's a little bit, um, I would say, uh, um, like a hex crawl open world exp exploration really driven pro very much essentially what by what the players can find or where they can find out where they need to go to get more resources um, and fight back against the zombies so that's zombie side chronicles the role playing game um, that's, uh, essentially uh, published by come on um, games um, and uh, just out now so um, Thank you very much for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, please do click the like button down below. Uh, and if you've got any comments or feedback, appreciate you taking the time to post those. And um, of course, if you, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, um, then uh, you know basically where you will see me with um, basically a package and a game or book which I will unbox and talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, we'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.